Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day away from Premier League team this season and leaks are starting to roll, but they're not all out yet. What I'm going to do in today's video is take a look at the leaks that we do have and of course the current state of this market after yesterday's guaranteed community team of the season pack, which we just got breaking news that there is going to be compensation for some people, not everybody, that opened that SBC pack before a certain time point yesterday. So we're going to take a look at that of course and the market as a whole as a lot of prices on community tots cards are going up as people have opened that pack, they didn't maybe get who they wanted and those prices are starting to rise. So we'll take a look at that. And of course, heading into tomorrow with Premier League Tots, what I expect to see on the market on today on Thursday. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about what happened yesterday because we did have a player SBC. It was not the Alan St. Maximum that everybody is waiting for in this game. Instead, it was the Chuguese. Didn't give him 99 pace. But the one thing I like about this SBC is that they kept his five-star weak foot upgrade from his foot birthday card. I kind of forgot that he had a foot birthday, a promo that was literally a month and a half ago almost. Not sure why he's also getting a team in the season, but that's not that's besides the point. Four star skills five or sorry, four star skills, five star weak foot. Yes, very cheap price here, about sixty thousand coins to do. I mean, it is what it is. A nice super sub. There's really not too much to say there about that Chukweze. Yesterday, also, we had a very interesting SBC added with the 81 plus Team of the Week upgrade. The price here is the best part. Only an 81 rated squad. This SBC is out for 43 days, which will basically take us through the entirety of Team of the Season and then some. It's nice to have this upgrade out unless you invested in Team of the Week cards, hoping that they would be rising, right? There are no more Team League cards coming into packs. Team leaks are done for the rest of FIFA, as we talked about in yesterday's video. This is awesome because you can get yourself an 81 plus team of the week at any time for basically 7 to 8k, right? An 81 squad is basically 750 coins per set or per 81 rated card on this game. Very, very cheap to do, and that's out for a long time. Some people are like, Nate, could you actually go and try to spam this to pack an Mbappe or to pack like a Neymar in for him? You could, but honestly, Informs are kind of behind the curve. Really, I would only be doing this if you're trying to get an inform for an SBC requirement, especially only on a lower tier level. But it is nice to have this upgrade. And I do still think if you invested in informs, since this gives out, of course, untradeable players, I would still believe that investing in those informs at discard values is not bad because inform prices can still go up. Even though this is unlimited repeatable, I do believe inform prices will still rise at some point during team of the season because a lot of people will just go buy an inform off the market instead of actually doing the SBC, right? You look at the position changes on the market right now that are going for 2,000, 2,500 coins a piece. I know it's a little bit different because there's the SBCs that you have to do a lot of position changes for at the moment, but still, there's a basically free SBC where you can get five of these each day. So the fact that this uh, these cards are still about 2,000 coins on the market when you can go to an SBC then just kind of, uh, again, drives home the point that Team of the Week cards still could go up in the future. Now, the biggest SBC that we had yesterday, and there again, like I said, is some brand new controversy and some news surrounding this SBC, is the community team of the season guaranteed. And they did the same thing they did last year, guys. They made this SBC an 84 rated squad with a team of the season. And that, of course, means it is very, very cheap. 45,000 coins to do, which is an insane value. If you take a look at the team of players in packs, of course, there are a lot of players over 45K. There's a lot of players under 45K as well. Now, a lot of these team of the season cards are going up in price, and we'll talk about that. The value here is nice. Fodder is moving. You saw 84s go up even further yesterday. They're down just a little bit right now, about 4,000 coins. But all these guys were about 4,500, 43 to 4,500 coins yesterday on this bounce. Really nice bounce on the 84s. I think that might be pretty much close to your peak price on 84s for the week. Uh, maybe today you have another opportunity to sell them there. 85s, they were about 10,000 coins. They're now about 8.5K. 83s had a really big bounce yesterday as well. Some of these guys were approaching like 2,700, almost 3K. 2,700 for Ruben Neves. So big W for the low rated fodder if you were still invested there. That was a great opportunity to sell those cards with this SBC coming out. Now, the latest news with this SBC is we were all shocked yesterday to see this this SBC putting out guys like 
Ito, guys like Carter Vickers, Ben Sabini, those Tots Moments cards were packable from this upgrade pack, which we were a bit confused by because usually guaranteed Tots SBCs are just team of the season players. And EA just a couple of minutes ago tweeted out and said, the community Tots upgrade has been updated to reflect the inclusion of the Moments player items. So they were supposed to be in there from the beginning. EA just didn't label the SBC that way. Players who completed this SBC and and received a player uh, tots moments player prior to this update which I guess happened at 9 53 p.m. late in the middle of the night uh, this last kind of th Wednesday night into Thursday they will receive a basically a, a uh, compensation pack the same um, player pack a community tots player item in the coming days so I guess you're gonna get a pack that is going to give you just a community tots player that old pack that was in the code and you're not gonna have the chance to pack an actual moments player so what this SBC was supposed to be in the first place was labeled like this a community tots pack that was going to give out a team of the season moments player or a community tots tots player like a tots squad player so what they're going to be giving back to you is just a community tots player because that is what the SBC in game showed. Now, the people that are getting compensated again are only the people who packed Carter Vickers, Ben Sabini, or Ito. If you did not pack either of those cards, you will not be getting compensated because technically you got a tots card. And that is what the SBC said it was giving out. Like, I got De Gea, right? Am I really happy that I got De Gea? No. Do I wish I was getting compensated as well? Yes, because you could very much so argue that the weight of this pack was, uh, I guess, adjusted or it was kind of impacted by the TOTS Moments cards being inside of it when it said it was only going to be giving out a community TOTS Team of the Season player. So that's where it's a little bit of a bummer. We wish we were all getting compensated from this. But as a lot of us did get those community tots moments players, right? A lot of us will be getting compensated today. So that'll be an untradeable compensation pack. And honestly, I, I say today getting compensated, it's probably going to take, let's be honest, a week because there are so many people that opened this SBC yesterday. So many people that had that pack and got a moments player and are now going to be waiting on EA to uh, present this compensation, which whenever we have compensation, if it takes less than like four or five days, we're surprised. So that's kind of the issue right there. Uh, this is all brand new and just happened, but there is compensation coming. And you can see, like I tweeted out, I was like, hey guys, who's getting compensated? Like, look, man, there's so many people that are getting compensated in here. Uh, sweet. Yes, I got Ben Sabini. That's me. I qualify with an Ito. Uh, ben Sabini. Uh, you know, so uh, that's a lot of people are getting compensated from this pack uh, that was put out yesterday and we were all surprised to see the moments cards in it and well guess what it was an ea mistake i thought it maybe might not have been a mistake because technically if ea tweeted out the tots community squad they showed the moments players in there um and you know those players are part of the squad i thought that maybe that wasn't going to be a problem but i guess it is and hey you know what if you were affected by it you get compensation but i understand being a little disappointed because we really wish that everybody was getting compensated from that so speaking of community tots cards though as expected they are moving in price man and they are absolutely flying they're flying in price a lot of these guys that are the most meta top tier Taram was 340,000 coins last night he is now 390k he just keeps going up he is a, on a huge huge rise there Ake is a card that was actually rising yesterday into the SBC drop a lot of these cards started going up before the SBC actually dropped in the game which is not really what we expected based off of how the Eredivisie cards moved but I think people saw the potential for these cards to go up in price so they started buying before the SBC came out if you take a look at the graph Taram was 33340 last night and started rising the SBC came out here he was 360k when the SBC came out there was an like 30 minutes of panic buying straight panic buying on the market Taram went from 350 to 3 like 8390 he came back down to 360 and is now going back up um Ake went from like 240,000 coins all the way up to about 260 where I sold the four of my Akes that I had, but he's still kind of hovering around that 250 range apart from this 230 undercut that's happening right there. And a lot of the cards ended up going higher. I bought three Kings League Comans at 535. He's now 560k. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is up. Alexis Sanchez, Rodrigo. Um, most of your top tier meta cards. Bernardo Silva's up like 150,000 coins. He's at 1.25. Ben Acer is up. Robertson is up. 
basically the entire community tot squad went up as people went out to buy these guys for their teams yesterday after the community pack as we expected now how are these cards going to react today because today we've got the rivals rewards and we have marquee matchups which will probably bring some tradable supply to the market on these cards i do believe that they will still maintain their pretty uh you know inflated prices i don't think today is going to crash their prices at all like crazy amounts you could see them dip a little bit you know like if taram goes back to 370 maybe ake goes back to like maybe 240 or you know you see guys like Coman go back down to 535 I think you could see some price fluctuations today but I definitely don't expect their prices to come crashing down because of the supply we're going to be getting today rivals and marquee matchups combined shouldn't supply these cards too much now if there's anything other else other than that the content drops today maybe there's more movement there but these prices should continue to stay about the same today and then tomorrow and into this weekend some of them will go up big some of them will go down big i want to take a look at last year's community tot squad to kind of talk you guys through this because it's going to go either one of two ways one way is they're going to go up take a look at zaha from last year on last year on wednesday which was yesterday right his kind of lowest point was 355k the guaranteed came out people didn't pack zaha he went from 355 with Premier League tots coming right afterwards the weekend he goes to five or sorry 434,000 coins and stays there for like the whole next week same thing happened with the five star skill moves fred Fred was his lowest on Wednesday, went from 450 all the way to 500K on the weekend, and then even further up the next week. Now, it's not all profits and lovely price rises. Look at Yoris. Yoris was 160K, but then in Premier League tots last year, you guys might remember that insane Ali Sun that we had that was also very cheap. He went from 150K all the way down to 94,000 coins. So it's either going to go up big or it's going to go down bad. It's either one of the two options or kind of stay somewhere in the middle. I think Suarez last year stayed kind of right around the 1.2 million coin range for a week and then he dropped off. So, you know, guards out of this week's team that I think will maintain their prices pretty well. I think Taram's going to maintain his price well. I feel like um, Coman is going to maintain his price pretty well. Maybe have a little bit of a drop-off. He'll be pretty steady, though. Rabo, I feel like, will do well. Ben Acer could do pretty well. But Ake is one that, you know, you would think would do really well. But as we start talking about the leaks here, there is a center back SBC that is probably coming out during Premier League team this season that I worry about this card a little bit because of this leak that has been posted. So we'll continue talking about these cards. We'll follow them, of course, here in the next couple of days and in tomorrow's video as well. But let's move on to talking about Premier League team of the season leaks because we don't have a ton of them yet. I think we're going to get more today. I'm surprised we don't have that many more, but there are some big names and especially SBCs that have been leaked. Let's get right into it. First of all, we still have the ASM. I, guys, I don't know if this is coming tomorrow on Friday. That's what it seems like it could be. But with these other SBCs that are leaked, they could also be Friday. So we just have a bunch of leaked SBC players we think right now. Some may be in packs. Who even knows? The questions still remain for this ASM. It's a huge mystery. We'll see when he gets dropped. We have that leak, of course. It is confirmed now that Ali Watkins, according to FIFA Trading Romania, is going to be our objective. He's going to be our objective player, which is kind of what we thought from the beginning. But that was confirmed confirmed yesterday that is not a new leak but this one is Havertz is getting a flashback team of the season card SBC and it is a flashback because of his FIFA 19 tots card this tots card was pretty cracked by the way but uh Havertz he had a, a rule breakers card earlier on in the year that a lot of people really liked four star four star I think they're gonna have to do something special with his card here to make it really hype six foot two he's got the uh I think he has a unique body type he, four star four star as we mentioned he's not a bad card he just has not had a special card in a long time he's got the 80 rated man of the match and his rule breakers is his best card in the game hopefully they give him a really really nice boost and i think guys my personal opinion here is he needs to have five star skills to be anything super special he's going to be controlled on every chem style because his um agility is going to get boosted up he'll no longer be able to be lengthy like he was in the beginning of the year that made this card a little bit extra hyped but uh that is quite the interesting flashback sbc for ea to drop there uh, a lot of people asking the question flashback to what but i guess we're flashing back to his bundesliga tots card 
in FIFA 19. So that is a very interesting flashback nonetheless. Now, guess what? That's not the only flashback that we have leaked. We've got another one. Laporte is coming as a flashback tots. I mean, he had a team of the season last year, so we could literally be flashing back to last year. Um, and these are predicted stats, of course. He's got the um, FIFA World Cup. I forget what the version of it is. It's Road to the World Cup card or World Cup Stories uh, card already in this game. And it does have 80 pace. This card for me looks really similar to like uh, maybe a Fofana in terms of how his uh, pace and how his card setup is going to look in game. He's already got an 82 pace World Cup Stories card, right? That's what it is. Hopefully he's got 85 or above. I mean, think about it, guys. We're in team of the season. We have to have really high pace stats to be usable at this stage of the game. So I'm hoping this Laporte has really good stats, but... I do believe this is going to be an SBC that a lot of people would do, right? Laporte, Manchester City links, Spanish links as well. It will be really great for hybrids with La Liga, team of the season coming up in a couple of weeks. It all does come down to the price, but I was looking at some center backs to do really well during Premier League team this season. And if this SBC were to drop tomorrow on Friday or even on Saturday, that might hurt some of those prices. I was picking up about a Ledley King at 211. I sold the, before the league. Fofana I bought um, before the, the Havertz league. I had no idea that Havertz was leaked, but I picked up Fofana at 165 because I thought it was really cheap and I thought he was going to go up with the Allen St. Maximin. I thought it was a really good investment. I ended up selling the Fofanas because I don't want to risk having center backs from the Prem on my transfer list at least when an SBC like this is potentially upcoming. Another reason uh, why I'm glad I sold the Akes at 257 to 260 because... If this Laporte is cracked, if it's really good value, this is the type of FCBC that a lot of people will do during Prem Team of the Season. Um, again, we don't know exactly when it's going to come out. If it doesn't come out until like the middle of next week, then center back prices will probably do fine this weekend. But that's just kind of something to watch out for there. I think Laporte could have more market impact than Havertz, um, unless Havertz is like super juiced five-star skills and a super cheap card. So just kind of watch out for that. Some Chelsea links did go up, like the Fofana, like the Koulibaly, um, those cards did go up a little bit because of this. I don't know what days these are going to drop. We, have, we now have all these SBCs that are leaked. We just don't know when they're going to be. But it definitely does help shape my mind around what kind of cards I maybe want to be buying for a flip and for a rise this weekend if we're going to get a striker SBC and potentially a center back coming for Premier League. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, the last official leak that we have is Ali's son. And Foot Sheriff says he's not sure yet if it's a moment's SBC or objective, but he is coming. This better not be an SBC or objective. This better be a player in packs for the team. Everybody remembers Allison's Tots card last year. It was super cheap, super cracked, also annoying to pack because we packed them all the time. But if this is the goalkeeper that actually won the vote out of the team of the season voting, that is very interesting. I would take it because I've got a VVD untradeable that would be a nice link to this Ali Sun card. A lot of people are like, Nate, what about Pope? What about Ramsdale? Who won the vote? I guess there could be two team of the seasons in Premier League Tots, or two team of the season goalkeepers in Premier League Tots. It's not often the case that they do that, but they have done it in years past. The last couple of years, they have not. But if you go back to FIFA 20 and look, they did. But that was when they had a lot of cards and packs for FIFA 20. So again, Foot Sheriff says he's not sure if it's a Tots moments or if it's an actual team of the season card. If it's a moments, it would be kind of on the bench of Tots. If it's a real one, he'd be in the starting 11 type of vibe. It would also kind of impact how big of an upgrade he gets. But that's kind of just nice for having a Brazilian goalkeeper with the Liverpool links and an Allison special card who we have not had a special for this entire year. So that's nice to have, in my opinion. That's a good one. I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. Now, what I also want to look at is some other leaks from this guy. And we take these with a pinch of salt. I honestly don't ever show this guy's leaks on stream that often because this guy just a couple days ago leaked that we were going to be getting Player of the Month Griezmann as the winner of Player of the Month. And Player of the Month, as leaked by FIFA Romania yesterday, was N. Nesri. So we might see this SBC today or might see it very soon. But this guy definitely has some fraudulent aspects to him, although he is right sometimes on other things. So he's tweeted out Trippier. He's tweeted out De Bruyne, Saka, Rashford, Holland, and Odegaard. Now, for all of these guys, it seems kind of like, duh. We expect them to be in Premier League team this season. So I'm showing you these because I'm expectant of these leaks to also be posted by Foot Sheriff. And I do believe that today on Thursday, we will see some more leaks posted. It's honestly kind of crazy that we're this far in the, into the week and we don't have uh, more leaks than we do. I mean, we have SBC leaks and stuff, but we don't have a lot of leaks about what players are going to be in the actual Premier League team of the season. So I think we will get more of those leaks today. Also, 
We should get a loading screen today. Let's talk about what's happening today on this game besides marquee matchups and that. Hopefully a loading screen. Thursday is kind of like the last day possible for a loading screen, obviously. And I would imagine EA wants to tease it up a little bit. So I would expect to see a loading screen today on this game. We're also going to get a new marquee matchups today. Keep an eye on if there are XP like we had last time. You could do two different squads inside of here for XP. I don't know if that's going to be the case because we don't have like a new objective in here for the weekly stuff. Um, you know, instead of the community tot season swaps, this is still available and this marquee matchups was a part of it. So I wonder if it's like an every other week thing. We'll just have to see. But if it says XP, right, if it says XP by any of the SBCs and marquee matchups or by the, the overall header SBC, then you'll want to get at least one or two segments done, if not all of marquee matchups. That will bring a little bit of supply to the market today. And then other than that, we have the last day of the SBC refreshes, 85 times five. You know, we have another day of the daily login and also the last full day to do 81 plus player picks before those are going away as well. So that's kind of what's going on with content today. Maybe EAU something crazy, but usually Thursdays are pretty low key and pretty quiet. Now, also what I want to have to look at here really quickly towards the end of the video is the market. Once again, like I mentioned, I'm a little bit thrown off by those leaks. I'm trying to stay further away maybe from some attackers and especially some center backs. I don't know what it is, man. Center back SBCs just somehow, I mean, people love a center back SBC. We've had a lot of great ones recently, so maybe that's why it's fresh in my mind. But I'm going to be very careful really buying into any cards for investments. I have a lot of my coins liquid. You know, we've been talking about out of packs cards from the Premier League. I was really high on like a Darwin Nunez and I still could be, but you know, we just have to be careful and see when this Havertz comes out, how good that he, how good he looks. Uh, and that could really impact a card like this and its rise. I still like the looks of out-of-pack investments from the Premier League, I think I might just wait until we get more leaks today and more information about what kind of content could be coming this weekend before I go ahead and buy just in case we get, you know, an insane player that is released. Um, and, you know, wow, everybody's like panic selling because this new guy is insane. So I'm just being careful ish about what I'm looking at on the market right now. I do believe between today and tomorrow morning on Friday, there will be ample opportunities to pick up some of these Premier League out-of-pack specials that you guys think maybe could rise into the weekend as there is a lot of hype for people building out Premier League teams. But again, like I'm saying, we just have to be careful. But just keep watching that side of the market today on this game as well. And good luck finishing out your weekend league qualifiers. I got to play those. Last day of the cup. I got to get two more games done here of rivals so that I can get a weekly reward upgrade. There's just uh, a lot of little things kind of pieced together before we get to the weekend. But watch out for more Premier League tots leaks today on this game as we move forward one day closer to the big team this season drop date. So if you're excited for Premier League Tots, drop a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the count. Catch you guys there. Peace out.